There you are! Hey, come to the room, my brother. It just hit the fan and didn't go nowhere. <laughs> Why ain't it go nowhere? Well, speaking of past people, remember my ex girlfriend I was telling you about, like, all the time when we were friends? Which one? In 18? Yeah, the one that cheated on me with, like, five different people, and one of them was a girl. Anyways. Gross. Anyways, remember I told you, I was like, yo, you know what? At the time, I was like, I want to be famous on YouTube. And she, and she laughed in my face and was like, you're not going to be famous on YouTube. Well, you should, I would have rocked the world. I said, listen, you know, teaching people how to read. Isn't that good? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Hmm. 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 Like, they've been doing something. It makes me giggle. Same thing with the dog. Like, what you, what are you sign for? What you gonna do all this? Two? Really? I got two chicken, little baby chicken eggs to spawn. That's so lucky. That's not lucky. Yes, it is. Uh. It's blessed, babe. All right, I'm so blessed. Thank you. No problem. We can still go. We can. We need to still go to the end portal. We haven't even done that yet. Nah, no, we'll take our time. It's oh, fine. It's fine. Yeah, we ain't got nothing to rush for. I'm trying to think of a freaking pattern. How much obsidian do we have? I have not a single idea. Shoot, I gotta get home. I don't have time for all this. We don't have any obsidian? Sorry, I don't I don't know. Why? Okay, so I need okay, 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 okay. Alright, let me get obsidian okay. first. I need obsidian. There's a lava pool somewhere, right? There's a lava pool somewhere over here. Where is it? You, you said it was somewhere nearby. I think it's over yonder way next to the villager outpost. It's, it's, it's got to be next to the villagers place, right? It's near your potatoes. No, near your wheat. You go towards the wheat and go straight. Go your wheat the farm. Village. I think there's also another lava pool over next to the... I got lost what I was doing. I just need 20. You see the two right there. I need 20. One, two. I need 20 obsidian. I guess it would That's be... I guess more fine. would be great, but 20 should be fine. Oh, I see it. It's over here. It's over yonder. I see it. I want to kill this freaking... Over yonder? Let's go, schmuck. Hey, watch that mouth, man. Uh-uh. No, sir. What's up, bum? Okay, where is he at? Idiot. Hey, uh, watch him. Idiot. What is wrong with you? Talking all that smack. Idiot. All right. Mm -hmm. You should look at my flower garden whenever you have time. Okay, I will be. Anyway, I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, we were talking about how somebody said we're the best favorite couple or something like that. Oh yeah, somebody commented that. Uh, somebody commented favorite couple. Yeah, that's right. Isn't that sweet? You know why? Because I ain't no freaking hoe. That's why. Yeah. Get off the way. What you looking at? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Tell them, babe. Tell them. Get out the way, Tell shark. them. No, I'm talking about tell, tell them that we're the best couple. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are the best couple. But yeah, freaking... Uh, did I ever tell you what happened? So, like, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so the first time I found out freaking Schnatterly. So, um, she she told me that she was going to go to the sleepover. I'm like, oh, so it's just going to be you and a bunch of girls, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, she was like, oh, no, no, no. It's going to be co-ed. It, it was going to be co-ed. And I'm like, co-ed? So it's going to be guys and girls at a sleepover? That never goes well. Like, how is that even a sleepover at that point? You'd be like, oh, no, nothing's going to happen. It's just a bunch of guys and girls, you know? And I'm like, I know exactly what's going to happen because I'm a guy. Like, I'm a guy. Like, if I was at a sleepover with some girl, I'm a guy. You know what I mean? And she kept telling me, she kept telling me nothing's gonna happen. And I told her, I told her this. I'm like, what's gonna happen is you're gonna go there, sleep over at this freaking sleepover party, and you're gonna make out with some dude that's there. And she told me, she was like, oh no, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Please don't say that out. I would never do that to you. I would never do that to you. Well, guess what freaking happened? It doesn't take a freaking software engineer to understand this. It doesn't take a, a freaking person with a psychology degree to understand either. 
A person with some type of brain stem will understand. They don't even need brain cells, just just a brain stem. That's just to understand. Well, guess what? She ended up calling me the next day, and she said, like, this guy, she ended up sleeping with this dude, okay? Well, not, not like, having sex. They didn't, they didn't have sex. Well, according to my knowledge. According to my knowledge. Well, you don't. Know, yeah, I don't actually know. But, um, but, um Apparently he put her fingers in her mouth, okay? And then they made out. I freaking I freaking told her, I'm like, what's gonna happen is you're gonna make out with some dude. What happened? She made out with some dude. Wow. It's like I it's like I know how people work or something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. But that's the problem too. Is if you have an like if you told me like, oh, oh I wanna go somewhere and I had a bad feeling about it, it's my job being with you to let you know, like, hey, I feel like there's something bad gonna happen, whether I'm right or not. I don't feel like you should be doing this, this, or this. Okay, that's what she. Sh that's what you should tell her. She would have because you know it's gonna happen. She would have gone either way. But, but yeah, I still would have. I still would have <clears> been like, hey, like I know you're gonna screw up. That's what I told her. But she's still wrong for that. Nobody cares about that crap. That's what I'm saying. If you're in a relationship, you're a girl. Don't be talking to other dudes. Actually, if you're a dude. You should be talking to the chicks. That's the bottom line. Mm -mm. You know, actually, I think back to it. I don't think that's the first time she cheated on me. I think the first time she cheated oh, so on she me. Oh, she did it six times. I th no, 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 no. I cheated it like maybe five. I don't know how many times, but I'm pretty sure the first time she cheated on me was when um we got back into school, right? Like when school started up again. Like the first week of school, she said she had some. Ward actually told me this. Ward told me this, and Ward was like, "Oh yeah, she let some guy kiss her on the cheek, and she was like hugging, and she held hands with some dude. So a guy kissed her on the cheek, and then another guy got to hold her hand, and then she hugged some other dude. So that's three different guys that she was already like messing around with. Also, babe, why'd you leave? It just it disconnected me. Oh, and uh, but yeah, that's okay. That's what happened, and um, for that to happen, and then then she went on that like a few months later. Oh, 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 and this mm -hmm. is other guy. I knew that she liked her. I knew that she, sorry, I knew that he liked her, right? And I'm like, mm -hmm. you better watch him because he's going to want to be with you after I leave, like after I move away. Sure enough, what happened? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Was it the guy that was dressed in the maid outfit? No, 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 it wasn't him. It's, oh, that was it's another his dude. friend. Oh, okay. it's, it's his friend. I forget his name. I forget his name, but like he would always be eyeballing her. And I'm just like, I know what's going to happen. You're going to end up wearing his stuff. You're going to end up... Because I gave her my student ID, right? She would like hold... Like she would put my student ID above her little... Like into her little pouch thing that's visible. You can look through it and you can see like, oh, that's so, you know, that's where your student ID is because you're supposed to show it. You're supposed to show your student ID or military ID before you go on base, right? To show that you are actually supposed to be on base, right? <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, and so she had my mail my, sorry she had my student ID above hers because I had two I had two <laughs> different IDs right and um, and then she ended up like I saw one day we were FaceTiming I saw one day she took off her bracelets she had them like thrown about she she didn't have them connected to her backpack and uh, she had the guys I think that guy's um, student ID above it like oh you guys are like thinking like oh it's just a student ID bro it's not that serious I'm like well, well it's serious it is for me serious. because for one she wasn't wearing her bracelets that I made for us, okay? Second, she's already replacing me with some other dude, you know? And we're, keep in mind, we're still, like, dating. We're still dating. And then she starts wearing his, like, um, his hoodies and everything. Like, I can tell, like, those aren't your hoodie because I know what hoodies you have. You know what I mean? I've seen you in all your different type of clothing. I know what hoodies you have. That's not your hoodie. And she tried to tell me, like, oh, no, I bought this hoodie. And I'm like, no, you didn't because that's... <gasps> And, and I was like, no, you, and I was like, no, you didn't, because that's what's his face's hoodie. And she's like, later on, she's like, oh yeah, this is blah blah blah's hoodie. I'm like, that's crazy. And uh, well, you know, I had the text yeah, from me and her. <laughs> the text from me and her. Oh yeah, that's right. Freaking you text her and called her. I thought that was so terrible. Anyways, anyways, back to the story. Um, Sorry, I just remembered. Also, this is the same girl that told me that I wasn't gonna be famous on YouTube or Twitch. This is right. the same girl. And, uh... I wait for you to finish, because, you know, once I start, I ain't stopping. I'll be here a while. I'm freaking agitated. People get on my nerves. That's crap. <clears throat> They're not loyal. And then they had another sleepover, like a small friend get-together. It was more like a small friend get-together. This time, it wasn't actually, like, a sleepover. It was like they were all actually staying together. So there's this beach on... It's at, it's on Okinawa. We, uh, I just set up in Japan. Whatever. But, um... It was this. It was on the island of Okinawa, right? Okinawa, Japan, which is technically not a part of Japan, but Japan kind of claimed it. Anyways, um, it was called Akuma. I'm pretty sure Akuma Beach, 
which is a place I always wanted to go to. And you can rent out like a little shack there and you can stay over there for the week or weekend. And so that's what they did. And she ended up freaking making out with this freaking girl. And she showed me the pictures. She showed me the pictures of her kissing up on this other girl. I was just like, that's crazy. And I'm like, you know, so what did she say for that? And then, well, yeah, I, I, I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that right now. So I'm like, you know, you're cheating on me by doing that, right? And she's like, it's not cheating. And I'm like, how is that not cheating? You're kissing a whole nother human being that doesn't have my name, that doesn't look like me, that's nothing like me, that is not me, you know? And uh, she's like, well, I just thought you wouldn't consider it cheating because, you know, it's a girl and everything. I'm like, what the f What are you talking about? I already, she's not like, worth even thinking what she look like. Yeah, she looks kind of busted now. I'm not going to even lie. Anyways. <clears throat> anyway. busted before. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. It's, it's bad. It's bad. I don't know what I did to deserve that type of treatment. She's a freaking retard. That's what happens. But I already told you, you were up on her fingers. That's why you got treated like that. Yeah. If you let it slide, it's going to keep happening. That's the bottom line. If you don't ever like step your, put your foot down, it's going to keep happening. You got to put your foot down because people don't stop. Because in her eyes, she wasn't doing nothing wrong. And by you like just letting it slide, that's Wait, why she kept doing it. Isn't that what I did? Yeah, that was funny though. I was alive. Like she tried to make me believe that she was actually sorry for her behavior. I know. Oh my gosh. Tell her tell talk about the conversation we had. Okay. So basically like I had slid up on her story, right? I forgot what I said. It was something a little smart cable comment, because that's what I do. And like I said, I'm gonna say this first and foremost. Her account is public. Therefore, I can look at whoever's Instagram, whoever's whatever I want, if it's public, period. So I don't want to hear, you know, all that crap. I don't know why you're looking up her anyway, because I can't. It's a public account. I can look at whatever I want. And anyway, basically, I slid up on something. I can't remember what it was, but I slid up on something. And um, I can find it on Instagram. I have a whole conversation. I never deleted it. But, you know, a couple minutes in the conversation, she's like, why don't we just call? It'd be much easier because I had been asking her about, like, I, was, I asked her about her last boyfriend, which obviously was you. And she knew that I was with you because um, because of my story. I posted a picture of us and she's seen it. So she knew I was with you. And <laughs> so I'm just assuming she wanted to see what I sounded like. She wanted to hear what I sounded like. She just wanted to know like, oh, who was his, his new girl? Let me pull up the text. Like, oh, who's this new girl? So then she asked me a call. And let me see. Oh, we split up asking her about the pronoun. Remember that? Oh, yes, I remember. Yeah, yeah, you. Because I told you, I told you that's going to bait her to talk to you. That will bait her to talk to you. Yep, 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 yep. And yep, I yep. told you. And it freaking worked. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm it such worked. a genius. Like, I'm actually a genius. And then she said, she said, oh, here's my friend that you can talk to if you have any questions. I said, okay. Anyway, so basically, we came up with this whole story. No, she's ugly too. She's she's my age. And then anyway, I think she also thinks I'm retarded because I was I made up the whole story that like you cheated on me. I said my boyfriend cheated on me, and I slapped him, and I told him that you know whatever. I said something stupid, and she said good comeback. To be honest, like she was just trying to you know like butter me up, trying to make it feel good. Like she definitely thinks I'm pep. Okay, anyway, and then I text her because she said oh, she's gonna talk to me later. She never did, and I said hey said i was busy all day i said what you been up to she told me what she was doing anyway and then i said and then we started asking her scenarios so i said my man was wearing other girls clothing <laughs> is that cheating because that's what she did she said hmm i said he was hugging other girls too is that cheating she said cheating depends on the couple if you're uncomfortable with that and you've expressed that and he's still doing it then i think that's cheating i said hmm ah, interesting ah, so him <laughs> ah. she's i said him hugging other girls and kissing other girls is that considered cheating to me, no, because my boyfriend and I have established if we kiss and hug other people, it's not cheating and we can do whatever we want as long as it's not having sex. I said, so your relationship is open, but you love him, Krista Mark? We communicated about it and decided why not play freely when you're young since we heavily trust each other. Don't I do that. love him and I think I'm going to marry him. <laughs> that bit her in the hind end. Yeah, she spoke I said, too what is love to you? And I said, what is love to you? So that's a hard question. I wrote a whole essay on it, actually. Let me go get a snippet from it. So she sends me a screenshot of her Google Doc. And then this is what she thinks love is. I believe love is when you put a person's safety and health above your own. 
when every affectionate thing gives butterflies, even if it is the, isn't the first time it's been done. And when you're happy to see the other person happy, even if you're not involved. Love is when you can watch from a distance and feel the same admiration for the person. In my opinion, love isn't made in comfortable times, but it's made in times of stress. Um, sorry, I lost my spot. That's how people know this, they can truly work well together. I do not believe in loving someone a lot or a little because love can't be measured like that. Lie. That is BS. Because yes, it can. Like when I say like I love my residents or something like that, that love for them is not the same that the love I have for you. You get what I'm saying? So that's not true. And then love is when you can reach a certain level of feeling. Like what the f*** does that even mean? Oh, okay, it's working now. Anyway, what is that? Literally like what does that even mean? So that's her definition of love. That's what she thinks that... Um, love is which is bull may I include and hold on let me get in the house because I don't want to be outside so that's what she thinks love is which she's a retard and then I said so your relationship is open she said also our relationship isn't open because we can't date other people but I guess it's half open everybody let's stop it's half open it's half open it's half what does that literally even is half open What, what are you talking about it's half open She's stupid. I said, but if you can kiss and hug other people, then isn't that an open relationship? You don't have to date somebody else for it to be open. If you're being physical with someone else and that's a mutual agreement that both of you can do, that makes it open. It's just a label anyways. An open relationship, that in quotes, is just a label anyways. I don't think of it as an open relationship as we have never developed romantic feelings for other people, but that's bull. Because if you are kissing somebody else and you're doing that type of stuff with somebody else, you're telling me you're not gonna eventually catch feelings for them? Don't lie, that's, what that's a lie. She freaking ended up kissing other people and just freaking found, started wanting to be with them anyway. <laughs> So messed up, dude. She's a freaking weak. If you're watching this, don't be like her. Yeah, don't be a hoe. And I said, how long you been with your boyfriend? So this was in December. She said, I've been here since, since September. And I said, you love him already? She said, no way. It was August. How do you not know when you got with your man? I've never felt this way about a person. Let's skip to the cheating part. Okay. I don't remember if it was like this or not. I don't remember. This is what she said. I think I did it wrong. I started talking about you. I said, why'd you cheat? Why? I cheated because I was tired, bored, and immature. I didn't really care about who I was with him. Oh, cheating is doing things behind your partner's back they don't, when they don't know what you're doing. So instead of talking out, you cheated. Exactly. The right thing to do would have been to broken up with him. Then I could have been free. I said, okay. But I cheated, which is really sucky of me to have done, and I'll never do it again. Why? Do you think that the person that you cheated on deserved it? She said no. She said at the beginning, the relationship was good. It wasn't great, but it was good. And then she chose you because she felt lonely. Like, girl, you just, you just digging that knife. Dang, this is terrible. Anyway, bottom line, she hasn't cheated. She never cheated on the current boyfriend. Blah, blah, blah. And then we called, it says right here, for eight minutes. Then I replied to her story again a couple of days later about something stupid. And then February 1st, so this was about a month after, after that phone call you know the guy that she said oh i love i'm gonna marry him you know he's the one blah, blah. Yeah. she posted on her story that he had quote unquote locked her in a car prevented her from getting out of the car and called her the b word and i slid up and i said i thought y'all loved each other <laughs> said, yeah but things happen so he locked her in the car i didn't know they were gonna happen like that he was trying to keep me in the cart and using physical force to do that as well okay because at the end of the day i'll be just fine but you broke up with him right yes i've never been broken up with yet i broke up with him because his actions showed me that he couldn't why does he keep disconnecting me his actions showed me that he couldn't be a good boyfriend i would never let anybody disrespect me the way he did blah blah, blah. Um, I thought I could trust him, so I let my guard down, but now I know for next time. And then she said, even my dad thinks I'm too good for him. And my dad has never said nice things about me like that. Yeah, I remember. Um, he felt, he would always tell me that he felt sorry for me. Yeah, because she, oh, I wouldn't want to be with her neither. He was like, I'm and sorry so she was with him. With my, my, um, he was like, I'm sorry you got to do with her. Yeah. Yeah, and that was the last time, and I was gonna, I was gonna slide over her story. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. It took everything in me last week to not, because I, like I said, I can look at whatever I want. Anyway, so she has said, like, she posted a TikTok, like, she reposted a TikTok, and it says something like, what did I tell you it says? Mm-hmm. Like, when you're, when you're looking for a good guy, but they all act, like, a certain way, and I was gonna slide up and say, you had a good guy, but you cheated on him. That's what I was, it, I took everything in me not to do that i really thought about it like i was really gonna do it i was really gonna do it and it about got to the point that i did do it and then i said aubrey just let it go but i said she got one more try so if i ever see something stupid like that in her story no i'm gonna slide up and she's gonna block me which is fine that's good block me it's okay but you stupid talking about when you're waiting for a good guy you had a good guy 
and then you cheated on him <laughs> five times. So yeah, no wonder why people don't want to be with you. But also all of her friends have the same mindset that she does. You know what I mean? They all think the same thing. They all are like, oh yeah, that's not cheating. That's not cheating. When to normal people like me and you, that is cheating. Bottom line. You know? So she's just crazy. She just, she just grinds my gears. They just get grind. I ain't got no gears left. They're done. They're done. They're done. They're done. I'm done. Oh no. How many emeralds do you need? A lot. We need a lot of emeralds, so. But oh, how many okay. did you get? Two. That's it? I know. I, I need to get more potatoes. Oh gosh. I'm out of freaking. I'm stuck on top of the nether and I'm out of TNT, babe. Oh, Lord. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Wait, maybe I can How do it with one TNT. Maybe I can do it with one TNT. I have one TNT left. I, I think you can do work. it. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm scared. Please tell me to be alone. <laughs>